Cześć kochani. Cześć. To dziękujemy za wszystkie pytania. Mam dobrą wiadomość. Odpowiemy na wszystkie pytania na Facebooku. Tak. Zła wiadomość. Nie odpowiemy na pytania na Instagramie, bo zniknęły. Zapomniałam, że to było Insta Story, że tylko 24 godziny. <laughs> <laughs> He has no idea what no I'm talking idea. about. All right, let's, uh, let's have the questions. Yeah. Question I do remember from Instagram. So how did you like having a Polish wife? How do I like having a Polish wife? Yeah. Well, I've never had any other kind of wife, so I don't know really the difference. So, um... Answer. <laughs> it's great. Everybody should have one. How was that? What was the first word you learned in Polish? Tak. <laughs> What was the second word you learned before? Kohane. <laughs> What was the most useful words you learned in Polish? Tak, kohane. Is that right? Yes. Czy w Nowym Jorku istnieje coś w stylu najbardziej nawiedzonego domu, o którym krążą legendy, a Nowojorczycy omijają szerokim łukiem? Is there in New York City truly haunted house with Starbucks? <laughs> no, I don't know. Can you think of a haunted place in New York? I mean, there's a tons of haunted places. I don't like know any. Washington Square Park. Okay. Like, allegedly, you could see ghosts there. Okay. That was probably because you can buy like a different drugs on every corner. Oh yeah, so they're all seeing ghosts. <laughs> That's true. What else? And I can't think of any haunted. I'm sure there are. I'm sure but I don't are. like know. It's not like something that I yeah. like. Oh, that's a haunted house. Yeah. Get in the subway or walk. We can get in the subway. We have to get in the subway. We're get in the subway. Uh... Oglądając wasz ostatni dokument w TV, opisywaliście czas, kiedy psy mogą chodzić bez smyczy w parku. Yy, czy jeśli jakieś psy się nie lubią i wykażą się agresją, czy to się wiąże z reperkusjami? Czy ludzie są wyrozumiali i rozumieją, że nie każdy pupil musi się lubić? The thing too is sometimes it's not the dogs that don't get along. The dog owners sometimes fight more than the, the dogs, dogs fight, yeah. which is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, sometimes nothing happens and they just people yeah, are being over sensitive. They're crazy dog owners, for yeah. sure. So. New Yorkers are crazy New about their dogs. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, they're just crazy. <laughs> they're just crazy. We have a doggy daycare. Doggy daycare. Przedszkole dla psu. Doggy cafes. Yeah. Doggy uh, art installations, art installations just for dogs. Yeah. Uh, I mean, owners. With the dogs. The, the I mean, owners, just for dogs, yeah. Right, right. And then dog, I mean, the owners need to go too. Feeder, yeah. Uh, that would be funny, like, here's, we're gonna come back for a dog later, enjoy the art. Uh, dog gr like uh, groomers. Having? Doggy, uh, de uh, you said daycares. Yeah. Um, we have a yoga with dogs. A yoga, we've never done that, but. Yeah. Doggy w walkers. Dog walkers. Yeah, like a tons of, like, so it's really easy to. You can make a lot of money if you're good with dogs. Yes. Yeah, right. definitely. Yeah. We're in a taxi cab, so it's a little bumpy. Pytanie, um, czy widziałeś Justyna Timberlake'a i Jessica Biel? Yes. Have you, have you seen? Yes. <laughs> Not Justin Timberlake, but Jessica Biel. Uh, I was at the U.S. Open, uh -huh. and I was with a famous one of our famous friends, and she was next to us. I actually have pictures, and she was posing for photos with people, and then later we went over to talk to her, and who else was there? Um, no, the lot I, of the I wasn't. No, you were not there. <laughs> How often do we bathe Aster? Um, not enough. Not enough. Well, he rolls. The, as soon as he gets clean, he likes to get dirty again and yeah. smelly, and he's so happy. Yeah. But when we first got him, we used to like give him a bath like probably every day, <laughs> <laughs> which was, was probably not a good idea. And now we're like, I think he smells. Well, we could go another day or two. Jaki stan polecacie dla młodej osoby pod względem pracy i mieszkania, żeby można było, że tak powiem, się dorobić po przyjeździe do Stanów? I mean, there are places you can go that are cheap, like Baltimore, there's a lot of cities like that. But the thing is, I would pick a place that you want to be because it doesn't make sense to be in a cheap place, but you're unhappy there, right? So, um, I mean, I moved to New York with $75, but that was a long time ago and I was kind of stupid. Uh, so I think people move here even with a little bit of money, and if you want to live here bad enough, you find a way to make it work. So I wouldn't go by the state, I would go by uh, where you want to be. Okay. I take no blame if you go someplace and you don't like it. <laughs> so what's your favorite place for breakfast? 
uh, one of the favorite places is our is our kitchen, <laughs> and a, yeah. or a place. Sometimes you can sit up at the bar and eat breakfast, and I can like read a book or or the New York Times or something. Yeah. And let's let's give some recommendations. Okay, well, in East Village, we like Cafe Mogador. We love Cafe Mogador. Yes. And there's a yeah. similar place in Brooklyn called Miriam. And I like the Kittery because they have uh, lobster Benedict. I think there's like tons of good breakfast places in Lower East Side okay. or Lolita. Right. Like I love Butcher's Daughter. Okay. Which I've never like been a, there with you. Oh, you, you have to go. It's okay. really good. Apparently we, we don't brunch together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we do. We just we don't brunch, like the same place. But we do it at home. <laughs> yeah. We brunch at home. Come to our house for brunch. <laughs> yeah. that? I'll make a mimosa and Bloody Mary. Okay o stworzeniu listy restauracji z widokiem. Jest. Lista jest na blogu, jest w książce, będzie w aktualizacji. People are asking about the book. What's happening with the book? Yes, I'm helping write the book this time. So, and this is like a lot of changes. Here's the thing that I think interesting about New York. Um, like, you can go away for a weekend, and when you come back, it's like everything's changed. Like, I used to live in Paris, and I would come back 10 years later, and not only was it the same restaurant, but the same waiter was working there. But in New York, I can go away for four days and come back, and like the restaurant's gone, some of them. So you have to always yeah. be, it's changing all the time. Yeah, so it's two years. I mean, so we think it's a hard time to... Yeah, high time? To, yes. Yes. I have like a hard time, but it's high time. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it's high time to update the book. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And we're trying to put a little bit more stuff that's like kind of personal experiences mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Because I think anybody can read a guidebook, but I think it's more interesting to get uh, get somebody's uh, experiences. Yeah, like um, um, like right. for example, like Robbie wrote, like uh, I think you will love it, like how to have a perfect day in New York City. Yes. Yeah. Gdzie pijesz kawę i chodzisz na zakupy? Uh, we usually drink coffee at home, right? Yeah. Or there's, uh, we usually like cafes. I don't like Starbucks so much because I like because more... Because it's a chain. Yeah, it's a chain. Uh, so there's a little cafe near our house called Cafe Regular that I like. That's kind of like a French place. And then where else do I like? I don't know, just like, uh, like family operated places. And then where else do we like to shop? We shop for food at, a, at the co-op. Mm -hmm. And the co-op is interesting because we actually have to work to show that at the grocery store we have to record something about right that. and then so there's a farm that basically grows all the vegetables for our shopping place you have to join it mm -hmm. and it's all organic and all that so that's where we do a lot of shopping and then there's a farmers market near our house yeah and there's stuff clothing we to, you go to sample sales I love sample sales right yes. and I, I have a something on my blog I need to update it like a sample sales is the amazing way you can buy like a designer stuff for like close to nothing very cheaply yeah and i need to go shopping so i, I can't really shopping. tell you i have this one all right I that's nice <laughs> coming out of the way <laughs> okay so next question okay uh favorite jazz club but if you want to go listen to free jazz jewels in the east village i mean it's like really small and intimate yeah. but like there's but the blue note um the west village yes yeah, so Jest kilkanaście małych, fajnych klubów jazzowych, od takich najbardziej znanych, jak na przykład Blue Note, do takich mniejszych, czy też znanych bardzo, Village Vanguard, czy y, 55 Bar, czy Smalls. Także można zobaczyć 3-4 kluby jazzowe w ciągu jednego dnia. Ulubiony moment dnia tygodnia, ulubione wino. Yes. Just a wine. <laughs> yeah, there's, is, is there an answer other than any time? To that? Uh, and, but, but it's not for a wine, just in general. And, uh, and the, my and, favorite time of the day? Yes. Actually, you know what? My favorite time of the day is, I guess, when I first wake up and have coffee and everyone else is sleeping. And then, yeah, I think that's actually nice. Yeah. Yeah. Czy istnieje pojęcie słoika w Nowym Jorku? How do you Right. These people who commute to New York City. Um, we kind of call them bridge and tunnel people because they're the people that either come to New York over a bridge or through a tunnel, which usually is New Jersey or Staten Island or I guess, I don't know if Connecticut or up is considered that, but bridge and tunnel is the title we use. Did your parents prepare your food in their jars? No, you... my parents never prepare my food for anything, <laughs> like so, ever. Like when I come home, my parents go, there's a refrigerator, I don't know if there's anything in it, but, but get what, isn't that true? Like, is when my, true yeah. like when we go to her house, <laughs> like there's tons of food. Like if we yeah. go from the alley stock to Warsaw, we have enough food to last us to like, I don't December. know, December. How much do I work? 
How do you how do you measure that? The common hours. All the time. All the time. <laughs> I mean, I don't. How much do I work? It's not like. You know, it's not like nine to five or ten to six. Um, I have more like that, yes, because I work like I have like three, four tours a week, sometimes more. Yeah, but when you're blogging, is that considered work? Yes, so it's, we are working all the time. <laughs> we work a lot, but it's not like we don't put like a suit and tie and go sit in an office kind yeah. of work. Sometimes we work at home. Yeah. Sometimes we work like out. Like right in now, we're park, kind yeah. of working right now. Yeah, yeah. working like yeah. Somebody said like do what you love and you will work all the time. <laughs> exactly. Czy jest dużym wyzwaniem to, że Amerykanie mają 10 dni urlopu? Um, I, I mean, it is frustrating in some ways, but even when I have time off, it, I don't know. I, we, it, the culture overall is difficult. Like, I remember living in Europe, like, people just didn't work for the whole month of August. So, yeah, I think that, and even if, when you do have, like, two weeks off, you feel guilty, so... I hate it. Honestly, like this is like what I really hate about living in America. It's just no vacation that they work all the time. You do work all the time. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I hope we answered almost all your questions. And uh, if you have any others, go ahead and ask Magda on any of her social channels. Um, or Astor on his social channel. Or his <laughs> at Astor Dog NYC. Uh, we need to go now and uh, run around with the dog in the park. Bye.